There are a lot of organizations to show off at Pasadena Memorial High School. Our Videotech students wanted to highlight both what we're becoming and also celebrate accomplishments of our young photographers at our school. We've asked each of the students in the University of Texas at San Antonio's Institute of Texan Cultures, a Mavericks Texas exhibit, to share the thought and effort put into their work. Thank you to UTSA for this opportunity and thank you for watching. My photo was of this girl who's kind of hanging off of a, uh, a railing inside of a, a farm or a barn, and it's um, kind of rodeo center. It kind of reminds me just of the fact that we can work hard and then finally be able to uh, take a moment to enjoy the work that we've done, and whatever that may be. Specifically in this one, just rodeo and agriculture and that kind of thing. And working hard and enjoying the, the results of that. I've been taught all my life to do the best that I can and to always get to see that when you work hard, you will have the results that you want to see and that uh, it's always a good feeling knowing that you've done something good. Well, what I like is just like capturing things that people don't see. And just like seeing what people would like to see but they can't see it in real life. Well, my dad for Christmas, he, he bought like a cannon. I just took pictures and that's what I did. I mean, it was just like an inspiration, but I probably wouldn't want to use Photoshop and keep, keep the pictures 100% legit. Well, I was thinking about like me and, my, me and my dad probably opening up like a little photo and doing like photo shoots like at quinceañeras, 15s, bridals baptisms, things like that. Like it's, it's a church I attend to, and I mean, like, I just took a, uh, a picture with the view, like, looking straight on to the church, and I mean, it's pretty amazing. I like the way it looked. So where did you take the picture? Um, outside of my room. Where my door was. <laughs> and I like opened the door, like a shine of light inside. It stayed in my eyes. And so I like, decided to get into my camera and go and just see if I could take a picture of it. And it took a while because it was hard to get the right angle. And so when I like finally did, I was so happy. <laughs> I like that they represent not just Texan culture, but they represent me, too. Those were grown in my grandpa's backyard. He's like my dad. He's like the father figure in my life, so he's really important to me. That was my sister's that she won at rodeo for her turkeys, and so that was who was wearing it in the picture. Kind of like given me a way to express myself in general. That's kind of what everyone says, but it's true. About Texas culture, it's kind of like if you ask someone who doesn't even live in Texas or someone who does live in Texas, they think of those things. They're kind of something that you would think of to represent Texas. I'd like to pursue it if the option comes along. What kind of pictures do you enjoy seeing? Nature pictures. What got you into photography? Seeing all the nature pictures on Google. To you, what does your photo say about Texas culture or your culture? It says that I have to ride the bus in the mornings because my mom works and I don't have a ride to get to school. Do you do any extracurricular activities here at school? I run track and I'm a dancer. How did you choose which photo to submit in the exhibit? Well, me and my friends, we were playing around Duncan on one of his goals, and he took a picture that I liked a lot, so I submitted that one. What do you like most about your picture? It shows that I can conquer anything by putting my heart to it. 
To you, what does your photo say about Texas culture? It does have to do with basketball, and that's my favorite thing to do. It stands out with the dark background with the gold necklace right in the center. It makes it pop out. It makes it really shiny. <laughs> the lights fell a couple times. It, it just made everything difficult. I had to go through a couple light clamps to finally find the one that would stay on the counter to where it would light directly on it. All the emotions that I have just go onto the paper. It makes me, it's my own type of like therapy to just relax. It has made me a more patient, calmer person than before. I didn't have patience for anything, but after I started picking up drawing and just doodling on any corner of the piece of paper, I started to become more relaxed. I took the picture in Houston at the aquarium. And is it of the aquarium? No, it's just like the buildings. What made you take this picture? Mm, well, my family, I want to take the picture. I'm a big family, and... Did you grow around your family? Yeah. you see them a lot? Photographer since I was in seventh grade. I had to choose what photo to take. I'm around the city looking at all the colors and stuff, just really want to take pictures. What's your favorite picture? The one of the ship channel that's in the set. How come? Because all the colors in the sun and all of the colors in the sunset really bring together the uh, photo. Getting it at the perfect time was kind of hard. I've been taking pictures since I was like four or five with help of my mom. She's a photographer. It just shows like where I grew up and where where my mom and me, like where we're living and stuff. I like taking random pictures. I was just playing with my cousins and stuff and we were playing with the door and like the sunlight and everything where it's hitting it. I just liked what it looked like. It shows my the land in the background and you can see the sunlight and everything. That's usually the first time I actually took a picture and actually got in like something big. So usually when the setting's right, when I feel like feel that it's good, like it's the perfect part. So I had to take it before the moment just passes away. Pictures like set, I like taking a you know like a sunset pictures. Like it depends on the environment. Like the outside of uh, this photography, I do drawing, I do painting. I like using a uh, like pen, ink. Because like, I like the dark shade. I took a picture of a shadow of a cowboy with a cowboy hat on, so it looked kind of like 3D. It kind of showed the personality of like Texas, so I guess that's how I put it out there. I mean, because there's like two different shadows in the same thing, so I think that's what I like about my picture. If, I like taking happy pictures because it just shows your personality more. I've worked with big cameras because my mom, she takes like this real huge Kodak camera and like goes and takes pictures of like how her store is looking and all that. She like told me to go and take pictures around her store, so that's what I did. Did you pay? No. <laughs> I like the picture of my brother in his uniform. The picture of my family when we met him at boot camp. Mm, my sister, 
and him together. I like how she was looking down at him. She wishes he, he would be home. He's going to Afghanistan. He hasn't been overseas, he's gonna deploy soon. He's inspired me to make something of my life and do something. I did the sepia and then I did like a shadow. I felt, cause I didn't do it at first, but I wanted to see what it was like. I didn't want the wondering feeling of not doing it. I think I'll stick with it for a while. I wanted to get a good grade, so I took the pictures. Uh, I guess on vacations, if I see something that looks cool or whatever, I'll take a picture of it. It just, I didn't specifically choose it, it just happened at the spur of the moment I saw something and thought it was cool. Uh, hey, I, I could use that. I mean, it's a, a famous Ferris wheel, so I think it represents Texan culture, and I mean, it's been around for a long time. Uh, I was at the State Fair in Dallas, and nothing really special. We were just on vacation. It represents the Texan culture because it's been around a long time. I mean, State Fair, everyone knows about it, and you know, you've just seen pictures of it before, so it's easy to recognize. Um, I take. Uh, all type of picture because picture if you take it naturally it's look better I don't want to set it up I just want to take it whenever it's there picture by just looking at it because like you know first sight mm -hmm. so um, I, first I'm gonna like see the picture like how I feel and then it's gonna ask my friends about it and like my teacher I like the proportion and the color because uh, if the color is not good and the lighting and the proportion is off, the picture is going to look weird. I just like the colors. It's like bright and it's really, I think it really captures like the child. The child. Um, it shows that I was raised to help others and that I love to do community service and I would help anybody who needs it. Not while I was taking the picture, but um, one of the elderly citizens um, fainted. Just that we were helping out, and I thought that would be a great thing to, do, to take a picture of. I like, was looking at other photographers' pictures, so I liked them a lot, and I wanted to try it. I think capturing that moment or looking at something that you wouldn't really pay attention to and then you take a picture of it and you're like, oh wow, it's beautiful. So the violin kind of like, you can find it in a lot of different cultures, especially in ours here down in Texas. It's like, you know, like the country music and it's in the Mexican music. So I thought it would be a good thing to do music because it connects us, so it connects cultures. Because I am Mexican-American living in Texas, I think when you listen to a violin, it sounds very pretty and it sounds like home to me almost. Sometimes where just everything is so hectic, you have your art and your art is there and your art is like a good place just to relax. And it's my place and it's my art. So 
So, what kind of pictures do you like to take? Do you like to take them like sad, Belize? Uh, I can take just beautiful pictures, the ones that I see outside. And, like, if I see that it's really pretty, not sad, so I don't get depressed. But they make me feel, I don't know, relaxed and happy taking pictures. And to show the people some things that I see and they can see it just cool me out. Um, not that much experience, actually. What kind of pictures do you enjoy taking? Fun, cheerful, sad? Funny pictures. Funny pictures. And how has it influenced you? Well, it doesn't really influence me that much because I don't really take that many pictures. But the pictures that I do see, like at church, are my faith. What do you find most difficult about getting this picture? I really didn't find anything difficult about it. What are you interested in? My uncle, he, whenever he came from Dallas, he would always bring cameras and start taking pictures of stuff. Whenever we go on field um, vacations, I like to take pictures of things. And um, sometimes, whenever I'm bored, I'll just go around the house or the neighbor taking pictures of random stuff. I'm part British and part Irish, and a lot of our culture is tea. And to me, something that screams out British is tea, and that has a lot to do with my culture. So that's why I chose that one particular photo that I took. Do you like a little bit of experience, but I've, st I've still been doing it for a few years now and for art. We take photos before we draw. It's, it's actually a photo I've focused on more to have like relation to me, so that's why I chose it, because it means a lot to me. I take different pictures of like different things that ha um, relate to my culture, and I took like pictures of like the Buddhist or anything, because I'm Buddhist, so like without putting it into words. I just, it's just great. It's indescribable. <laughs> it just represents like the type of foods that we eat here mainly, and my culture especially. That we know how to eat, basically, <laughs> and we like to always. <laughs> I like how I focused on the main dish because there's sides to it, but I like how I like focus on the tomatoes. It's like this is the main dish, and it just shows it off. I guess. And I just thought it was fun, and the idea of like being able to capture something that you can't relive is just um, I really like it. Um, I try to do it every day, actually. If I go a day without your, uh, photography, it's, it's not, it doesn't feel right. I like to try to capture things that um, we go through every day, but we don't really stop to try and acknowledge them. Right. Did you use Photoshop at all to like enhance your picture? I use Photoshop all the time, actually. This one actually didn't. Um, my picture is really natural, and I wanted to keep it like that. I did work with levels to brighten, you know, to use more contrast or brighten it up, and that's pretty much about it. What does your photo say about Texas culture? Football. You know, football is really big in Texas, and I don't think another state like te Texas does it when it comes to football. We go really big with it. <laughs>